Hey everybody, welcome to my second edition for this year's Halloween Fest. This is Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, the uh, appetizer that was given to us. To, before the uh, main course. Yeah, before the main course given to us. This was released uh, last year uh, for uh, Switch, PC, PS4, and what have you. And this was developed by Integrates, because Integrates is pretty much <laughs> responsible for developing all those uh, old school, well, retro style uh, Japanese uh, pixel games of yesteryear. And, uh, I mean, hey, w what better deal for to make something like this? And uh, I'm playing this game because Matt plans on playing Ritual of the Night really soon yep. on this channel. So I, I figured wait. I'd give you guys a sampler of what to expect because uh, Curse of the Moon is not a very long game. Uh, um, one thing. This up? is going up on weekends, right? Yes. yes. So And and uh, Bloodstained Stars is coming Wednesday, right? Mm-hmm. So... So don't mind what I said. Because <laughs> <laughs> at the time of this recording, we are, we are starting off with Curse of the Moon first before we start recording Vir Ritual of the Night. Yes. But uh, in a way, the, game, the, the games can kind of coincide with each other because it's not as if Curse of the Moon is a prequel to Ritual of the Night. It's okay. its own It's its own else world. It's, yeah. a, it's a separate universe. Alternate reality. Yeah, basically. In the 8-bit world before the 16-bit era changed everything up with the storyline of characters, we are now going to find a man given the moon's curse by demons, which is Zangetsu. The moon's curse. What's the moon's curse exactly? It's just powers. I don't know. Given the moon's curse by the demons. I'm just going to assume it, it allows him to, I know... What if it's just? What if he's just cursed to see asses everywhere? I don't know. <laughs> asses on fire. Just the moon's curse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, <laughs> that kind of. I was thinking like on the like the lunar, the one, lunar right. moon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. I guess if it's like if it was a major ass enveloped in the sky, that's technically lunar. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're in control of a man named Zagetsu who was cursed by uh, the moon, or at least cursed by demons. So he made it his uh, sworn duty to eradicate demons, and he, ain't yeah, else he has a massive hate boner for demons, or but just like uh, just magic users. In nah, general. he's a z he's a xenophobe. He's a, did he say xenophobe? Because you know, I guess like, wait, is it technically xenophobia if it's like against like hellish abominations? Like, um, it's technically a different race, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, because it, 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 his hatred doesn't just extend to the demons; it extends. We'll see it in um. Uh, ritual of the night that he pretty much extends to even humans who have demonic powers. Yeah, who use demonic powers to like, you know, for their for their own gains or anything like that. So basically, like, this guy's somebody you don't want around at Halloween. Yeah, basically, <laughs> <laughs> evil creatures. All right, no, he's just a buzzkill. <laughs> who invited <laughs> Zengetsu? <laughs> uh, that was my fault because you said you could, I could bring anyone. Oh, sorry about that. I could bring it. You said I could bring anyone. Yeah, but you didn't need to bring Zengetsu. <laughs> you said anyone, asshole. Moonlight Temptation. Moonlight Temptation. And this is... Sounds, sounds like a goth porno. Don't it? This is a goth no, porno. The moon, and this, uh, much like how Ritual of the Night is designed to be, you know, a, a, a Symphony of the Night Egovania style of game, Curse of the Moon is pretty much harkening back to old school Castlevania. Yeah, from, what I, from what I saw, I see more so Castlevania 3. Yeah, it's Castlevania 3 in pretty, pretty much, much everything but name. Yeah. The only difference is that you're whip, you're, you got a sword that's not a whip, though, so you got to be a little not, more careful. Yeah, you can jump on stairs at the very least. So, oh, how can, so how can you say you're going to whip some ass if you don't even have a whip? Well, we don't have a whip yet. Let's put it that way. Man, this game looks great. Oh, yeah. I love the way this game... I mean, the game oh, is no, technically no different than uh, an 8-bit game. But the soundtrack, especially, is fantastic. And that just me. It has been a bit since I played Curse of the Moon, so like, to forgive me if I'm like whipping different walls and all that sort of thing, because I don't know whipping which ones. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which ones have uh, hearts or anything like that. I don't want to say meat because meat is not in this game. You actually get life by eating hearts in this game. Oh, yeah, as, as it should be in regular video games, but it's like it's yeah. also really out of Well, place now here's game. the other question: Is it actual heart or is it like a human-looking heart? No, no, it's a, a human-looking heart. No, 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 it's Valentine's heart. Okay, it's a Valentine's. Oh, so he's eating chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> Ooh, I do love me some chocolate. Chocolate's good. Ooh. Oh, I can't get over there because I can't. Zangetsu, or two. Zangetsu can't slide. You well, then again, he might be claustrophobic. You are too tall. Right <laughs> on the map. You are too tall. <laughs> it reminds me of that fucking shit new Super Mario Brothers DS did. Uh, where someone oh. couldn't go to the other worlds without the mini mushroom. Yeah, yeah. I, I hate the mini mushroom in that game. I do too, and I hate how they made it mandatory. Oh, wow, that's a big Delicious. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy, so you want to go that way? What's it? It seems like you use sub weapons. Sub weapons. We'll see. Triangle button. What's a I triangle on? That would require <laughs> weapon points. I destroy lamps. Yeah, uh, this game is pretty much telling you uh, the purple color lamps drop sub weapons. In this case, this is the diagonal whip. There we go. Oh. Uh, a uh, diagonal whip. I mean, you can only whip in diagonally. That's a very specific yeah. whip. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? This would later, uh, Zangetsu would later repurpose this in Ritual of the Night as a grappling hook. Right. Oh. Uh, which, in that, you know, that in that case, that's really cool. Uh, you can't wrap, you can't grapple in this game though. 
It's just a diagonal attack. Ouch. He hasn't learned it yet. <laughs> you know, yeah, he just doesn't have the confidence in it yet. <laughs> well, then again, it might be a little too heavy for it. Uh, perhaps, yes. Oh, uh, shit. I remember he kicked my ass pretty hard in the third, in the, I think that's the second fight with him. What, uh, oh, the, uh, the rematch. Yeah. Basically. Uh, I mean, it all depends on your approach. Because, uh, you know, one of the things I'm really looking forward to with the Ritual Night playthrough, man, is like, I really want to see how you tackle an Egomania. Because I don't think I've really seen you play one. You have not seen me play one yet, and no. honestly, I'm, I'm might make it a martial arts run again, like I did my first you, run. You, I mean, that's the thing about those games, like, you can play it in a lot of ways. You know? Yeah, but I just like kicking the shit out of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> put the put my boots to the glutes. Damn right. Do you replay these levels? Like, um, let me phrase that. Like, can you go back to level one and find new shit? Yes. Uh, in fact, you that's something much, you can never. That was something you, you're gonna do in the classic manias. Yeah, because you you pretty much need to. Uh, because we're, we're we're playing the game in normal mode. And, uh, spoiler warning, shit's gonna happen by the end of this that will require a second playthrough in the new Nightmare Mode that you unlock. Oh. Uh, but in Nightmare Mode, you start with all the characters you already rescued, and you can use their abilities in levels you didn't have them earlier to explore new areas. So, New Game Plus. Uh, yes, it's pretty yeah. much a New Game Plus. Although this game technically has two New Game Pluses. There's Nightmare Mode, uh, but for plot reasons, you don't have everybody available in your disposal. And then there's Ultimate Mode which is everybody plus a powered-up Zangetsu. We can talk about that later, because we will not be demonstrating that for this Shin playthrough. Shin Zangetsu? Uh, yeah, in a way, it, 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 it's kind of like that. Oh, yeah, I forgot the, the thing. It's, like the, <laughs> the, it's not holy water. It's a firebomb. Huh. That still looks really cool, though. Yeah. Uh, we will not be demonstrating it for this playthrough, but I'll wait until we get... It's appropriate to talk about before we get to it. Shout out to 4. 4 is death. Now, I know 4 is death, but what about 4-4s? Four Super death. Uh, Ultra death. <laughs> Quadra death. Oh boy. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, this asshole. Munch, munch, munch. <laughs> well, shit. Ah, it's it's like, um, it reminds me of the uh, Balrog, Balrog monster from Dawn of Sorrow. I mean, not Dawn of Sorrow. Uh, yeah, Dawn of. Curse of Sorrow, was it? Aria. Not Aria, the other one. Oh, Balor? Yeah, Balor. That's well, Balor was in both games. Yeah, I know, but he, the uh, zombified one in the second one. Oh, yeah, the one that shoots lasers. Yeah. Which you never fucking really use. No. And he, well, you know, Balor never really uses his body size to his advantage. He just well, kinda he's like, kind of stuck know. there. Yeah, I guess so, but like he, he still has free range of his hands. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is how you got to hit the asshole, right? Yeah, basically this is what you're doing. You do the same thing in... Um Ritual of the Night, because I kind of beat the boss by dumb luck in that game. Uh, more like the fight in Ritual of the Night is let's so I can get to do all the work. <laughs> yeah, because <pretty> <laughs> yeah, that's the joint battle between uh, both Miriam and Zangetsu, and you know you have to use Zangetsu to like avoid projectiles and all that sort of thing. This feels like a Mega Man boss too. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, in, in, a, in a lot of ways it is. Oh, should I say that dying the whip? <laughs> So uh, when you beat normal mode, you do unlock nightmare mode, uh, and bosses are not only harder to kill, they also have new attacks. Uh, That's something course. I like when a hard mode does. I, I do too. Like I like when it's not just the like, damage increase, right. but the boss is also different. Yeah. You know, I, I it, like that. Because uh, it adds like a lot more that. replay value to it, yes, really. It <laughs> well, no, it, it gives you incentive to play the game. Right, yeah. just to see know? what he can do. Yeah. It's like, oh, I mean, it's a harder encounter, but how so? It's like, well, it can do this now, it can also do this. You know, Star Fox, the original on the SNES, did that as well. Right. I was kind of hoping that was a killing blow. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> yeah, like in, uh, in Nightmare Mode, I believe uh, the fireballs are way faster. There's more of them. And um, he's just faster in general. Interesting. There you go. Yeah. All right. Uh, then we're going to wait for him to grab this. Then we're going to jump over it. Because every boss in this game has a desperation attack. Of Ooh. course. Uh, desperation attacks cannot kill you. Uh, they're just to scare you, like uh, Rondo of Blood. Right. Um, but if you manage to avoid it, you get an extra life. Oh. Cool. Because there are lives in this game, and we are playing in veteran difficulty, which has lives. Now, if you find Curse of the Moon to be a little too difficult at first, you, there is a casual mode, uh, which gets rid of knockback, and you have infinite lives. Huh. I would play that just for getting rid of the knockback. What, just for, like, for, the, for the Let's Play sake? No, just yeah, for getting probably. no, just for the, the getting rid of the knockback. So knockback. after we complete certain stages, we rescue someone, uh, and you can you, you can recruit them to your parties by talking to them. You can also, if you want to, kill them. Oh, why? Uh, if you if you kill them, you absorb their soul and you get their special ability. At the cost of making you an asshole. At the cost, well, Zangetsu's already an asshole. Yeah, but this is like there's asshole, haha, and then there's eh. 
asshole. Hey. <laughs> uh, Miriam. Yeah, this is Miriam. Uh, we're, getting, we're getting more out of her for Ritual of the Night, but uh, you can use her here, and she's pretty much uh, the Belmont Hell yeah. of this game. She uses a whip, she has a slide, and she has a high jump. So what does that make Zengetsu? Uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alucard. Yeah, Alucard. Yeah, Alucard. <laughs> yeah I, I see, not going to lie, uh, after I get Miriam, I kind of just use Miriam for the rest of the game. Well, until I get to... Um, until hey, I me get too. To, uh, until I get Jeeble. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're like, hey, buddy, we shop at the same store. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, if you want to, and if you want to unlock the game's ultimate difficulty, this is how you do it. You, when you rescue characters, well, don't rescue them. You just attack them until they fall to the ground. You absorb their soul and you get their special ability. Uh, with Miriam, I want to say you get the double jump. You know, uh, and later down the road you can get like a dash, and right. you can also get like a charge attack. Uh, you know, you'd make uh, you make Sangetsu really fun to use. All it takes is killing your friends. <laughs> you know. <laughs> But uh, Zangetsu does become a force to be reckoned with. I love and the, uh, the zo that's that's my favorite character thus far in this boat is the, zo is the skeleton zombie. Buddy, you're going there to the right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> so here's another question then. Does this game have multiple endings? Yes, it does. Uh, it has... Uh, depends on your definition. Like, in the same playthrough? Not really. Uh, I hated those fucking witches in the Ritual of the Night. Oh, this one because they did so much damage. Yeah, they hit like a motherfucker. They hit like truck. a yeah, they hit like a motherfucker, and they could take a lot of hits. And their their, their moving pattern. My problem with them is their moving patterns were a little erratic. And it was hard to get a read on them. Uh, they're not so much of a problem here, uh, because you they know, die in one it, hit. It's an old school Castlevania game. It's a more about. And they look a little hokier. Yeah, they do look a little hokey. Uh, but to answer your question uh, earlier, Elliot. Um, there's not really multiple endings. I mean, there isn't. There are endings, but it depends on the mode you're playing. Uh -huh. You know, because don't tell me Miriam is the kind that can't use stairs. No, uh -huh. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just I'm taking you really cautious. Uh, you know, there's a normal mode, there's nightmare mode, which you unlock after beating normal mode, uh, and then there's ultimate difficulty. But ultimate difficulty can only be unlocked if you beat the game as Zangetsu alone, oh. which requires you to murder your your pals. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> so, ah, thank you, skeleton bro. I can I can kind of like imagine when you're like you're killing everyone else, like when you're killing the allies. They like hit them once. Ow! That was <laughs> not with the potion. <laughs> yeah, I know because they don't. Uh, oh, th that's weapon energy. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, yeah it was like they, they they don't fight back at all. It's yeah. like stop that. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> the two monsters. Like, like how many hits does it usually take? Uh, about a, about like four, I want to say. It's like like one hit. Yeah, they like, have all the time in the world like, to stop do, you, and they don't. Just do one hit. Ow! Okay, that kind of hurt. It's I guess that's sec we're... Second hit. Uh, okay, you can stop that. Third hit. Ow, fuck, dude, really? And then fourth. What the fuck? Dead. Ooh, okay, that is Zangetsu's Oni power. Uh, that beefs him up considerably when he uses it. Ooh. So it's a buff? Yeah, uh, temporary buff. Requires weapon energy. And the thing is, like, uh, like Cast 23, you can switch characters on the fly. And um, you will need to start doing that liberally because... Uh, Certain yeah. segments of the game require a certain power up. The others doesn't. Have, the uh, other doesn't there's, have. Yeah, there's that, and you know, if you're running low on health, it's good to just switch characters out. So they don't have shared health. No, they don't have shared health. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have shared health, but they do have shared weapon energy. Hmm. I'm really hoping I can actually show off as much as I can. Oh, there you Why go. Why did I jump? <laughs> if I was playing casual mode, I'd be fine. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Uh, what were you saying? Though? I hope I was, I was saying like what I really hope doesn't happen to me is that I end is uh, she dead for good? Uh, she's dead until every character dies. Oh wow! You know, so yeah, you don't immediately lose a life if a character dies, but you do lose access to that character. Hmm. And I'm gonna be playing the game with as much as I can, with as little as I can take. You know, uh, for as far as I can take it, I should say, uh, because I can still play the game with Zangetsu. He's not very fun to use though with that ultimate mode, or at least fully powered up. I know, but I, I was kind of against uh, doing ultimate mode because I mean ultimate mode, you get <laughs> you get fully powered Zangetsu and your friends, <laughs> which kind of breaks the challenge in half. Uh, so I was kind of against it that way. But at the same time, you know, we'll play the game. We'll play the game when I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's my playthrough. Yeah. And I'm gonna be taking up the same philosophy. Yeah, I would hope you would. The only thing <laughs> there are so many ways to break that game. Oh, absolutely. I'm just, but I'm I'm doing a martial arts run now, so I'm just gonna be kicking things in the fucking face all the time. <laughs> I probably don't know how to really break that game like that. I just beat the shit out of things. I, it, it. It's not a no, it's not a matter. In my, in my opinion, it's not a matter about knowing what's what. It's about what, it is just the weapons you have. You know, right? Uh, big bats. Uh, big ass you bats. Know, I'll take a death here. Why not? Because I really want Miriam back. Ouch. <laughs> 
Miriam is actually the best for those bats because uh, one of her sub weapons is the daggers, the three directional daggers. Uh, if you played Mega Man, uh, I think 10, was it? It's very akin to Sword Man's weapon. Right, but you kind of lost those. Yeah. Oh, no. Purple candles always have weapons in them. I mean, that's not the one I was looking for. <laughs> but, uh, Wish on one hand, shit, I really do like about this game is that, you know, weapon candles are clearly marked as purple so that you can't accidentally pick up a sub weapon that you didn't want to pick. Uh, because uh, much like the old school Castlevania games, uh, if you pick up a sub weapon in this game, it's yours. Right. You can't switch out if you, uh, if you accidentally picked it up. So there's that. Uh, but I should say, um, this game is not like the first to do that sort of thing. Because uh, I did have a mind fart when, I when reviewing this game uh, last year. Uh, Castlevania Bloodlines did that first. Uh, on the Genesis, uh, all of the thick single candles were sub weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the two pronged candles, the traditional ones, were hearts or ammunition. Uh, I, to me, that's not as uh, easy to remember, personally. That's why I kind of just forgot about it. Ooh. Punk your ass. Stop that. <laughs> I thought that was an art candle you could actually whip to get an item, but... Nah. No. When I get Alfred, these guys won't be a problem. You also can just whip the, 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 uh, the arrows. Hmm. Hey, if it works. Hey, the blue fits. <laughs> 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 oh, we got an ice one now. Uh, that... Mm. I'm not sure if I want that. But yeah, I'll take it. Why not? <laughs> so the axe is the most powerful sub weapon for Miriam. It does an absurd amount of damage, but it also has a humongous... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, if you played, if you used Claymores in uh, Ritual of the Night... I know exactly what you're getting at. Yeah. Or if you, if you used Claymores in, like, uh, Dawn of Sorrow or Portrait of Ruin, same exact attack animation. Like, almost verbatim. What'd you just get... Uh, that is a weapon upgrade. Uh, our ammunition for weapons just went up by 10 permanently. Harley. Get out of the way. <laughs> I never ex I never ex expected, like, a Claymore to be a sub-weapon. Well, well, no. It's, uh, that's, that's just what I'm comparing it to. You know, uh, because later down the road, uh, when we get Alfred... The butler? Uh, uh, the alchemist. <laughs> Not the trumpet player. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, later when we get Alfred, he, you know, he's pretty much the Cypher Bill not is of the group. He's a magician. The mage. Yeah, the mage. And uh, he can freeze things. And frozen enemies take double damage of whatever you hit them with max. Combine the frozen spell with an axe, you one-shot pretty much everything except bosses. Hey, it's a turtle. It's a flying platypus turtle monster. Please don't hurt me, the turtle monster. <laughs> I am just a simple traveler. Ugh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, camera. All right. Yeah, that works. Please don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> there you go. That's probably what you're going to need to be doing right now. Uh, only to some extent, because, uh, again, weapon energy is shared. And I see you're all out of it. Unfortunately, yeah. Is it getting creative? You mean anti creative? Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta avoid the rocks here. Ow. Ow! Jinx. Fuck. Can, yeah. you, can you die? Well, no, I don't want to, but. You know, no, not so. you. Me? Fuck you. No, not, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It's like so close. Uh, well, <laughs> any bubbles that are left when she gets to the end, or left or right of the screen, she will launch out in all directions. Right. Oh. Uh, does the health reset when you lose like that? Uh, what do you mean, like the uh, boss's health? The boss's health? Yeah, the boss battle resets basically. Uh, oh god. Yeah, I mean, basically kill the boss now. Otherwise, you gotta deal with it later. Actually, you know what? I think I'll take another death. Why not? Because I really want Miriam and full health. And I think I keep the sub weapons. Uh, no. Nah. Mind the boss just went. Okay, never. There you are. <laughs> hey, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good hitting. Oh dear. Damn. That just went. That just went it away. Went, the tits. Yeah, it went south really fast because I just didn't get good positioning. I did say, Johnny, this one has gone the way of the tits. The way of the tits. The way of the tits. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> hey, check this out. <laughs> Ninja vanish. <laughs> That's a rather effective weapon against the two edge, you know. You gotta be close to it. Oh, I'm out of weapon energy. Damn. You got enough for one more swack, don't you? I don't think he has enough for the for the axe. There it goes. Uh what's the different thing again? Oh that's right, it's gonna tackle. Watch out. <gasps> He's up to something. Oh, didn't, didn't avoid him, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't really care because, again, they can't kill you. And they're like, they don't do, like, actual damage or? They do damage, but it can't kill you. Okay. Holy hey. shit. Hey. <laughs> I was in that thing. Did you see that cool shit it did? That I would be defeated by a demon. I have been thoroughly humiliated. I am Alfred, an alchemist. Alchemist. He was demon still. Oh, oh wait, I forgot virus. that is David Hater. Yeah. Right. I completely forgot David Hater is a Getsu. It requires a fair exchange. Even using demons is sometimes necessary. You have your own goals, correct? <laughs> so stay in your lane, my fellow. <laughs> 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 your existence is unsettling to me. <laughs> your skills are not without value. Uh, I'll Colonel. leave your head where it is for now. Uh, Colonel. <laughs> Popcorn container. <laughs> <laughs> when he eats the last yeah. pop popcorn. Yeah, like curl. <laughs> All right, we recruited Alfred, and with that, we'll call it a party. We'll see you guys next time for more Bloodstain. I was going to say Castle Mini Curse. <laughs> Bloodstain, Curse of the Moon. Have a good night, everybody.